In October 2021, Nurse William George Davis was sentenced to death. He went from being an ICU nurse to becoming a death row inmate, currently awaiting his execution. But what possibly did Nurse Davis do to receive such a punishment? This is a disturbing story of Ness William George Davis. So Ness William Davis was born on February 3rd, 1984. They say he was affable, he was friendly, he was a very nice Ness, okay? At least that's what his colleagues said. He worked at the Christus Mother Frances Hospital in Tyler, Texas, and he was there for about five years before this whole thing happened. And they said in that whole five year period, he never had any major disciplinary action on his record. Okay, so this kind of makes me think that he was a good Ness, right? Then in 2017, 2018, everything changed so doctors that were working at the same units like the icu where nurse davies worked right they realized that multiple patients were having complications after their heart surgery you know whilst they were in recovery they said these complications were like you know like stroke-like symptoms the doctors saw this disturbing patting and then decided to do ct scans and the ct scans show that these patients had air bubbles in their brains there was air bubbles in the brains of these patients one may ask how does nurse davis come in all of this right but before i go ahead let me give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video today's video is sponsored by hellofresh so hellofresh is a meal kit delivery service what they do is they deliver weekly boxes of quality fresh ingredients along with their recipes to your doorstep what i love about hello fresh is that it's time and money saving you get healthy recipes that make cooking so easy you're able to spend more quality time with your family and then you get more time to treat yourself as well because you spend less time food shopping meal planning and cooking hello fresh offers the convenience you need to prepare food for yourself or your family and thanks to their rapid recipe you can cook delicious quality meals in less than 20 minutes it's very easy to order you can download the app with a link in the description or you can go on their website and then just place your order it's very very easy you can just choose the type of meal that you want the size of the family the, the kind of plan that you want when we moved into this house most of you may know my husband and I we just moved into our own home and the first few weeks was kind of tough it was kind of very busy you know um, a lot of packing a lot of unpacking we wanted to stay healthy and and spend less time cooking because we had loads of packing and unpacking to do so what i did was i ordered a hello fresh box okay and then this was delivered to my doorstep quality fresh ingredients along with its recipes so quickly in like 20 minutes i was done cooking for myself and my husband and we enjoyed our meals it was quick and simple and healthy and delicious delicious you love hello fresh if you're a busy mom if you're a busy person like myself this will help you save time you don't always have to go food shopping and all of that just go on hello fresh order your box okay and let me know what you think hello fresh is giving you 60 percent of your first box plus 25 percent off for two months using my code nanel 60 okay so i'll leave the links in the description as well okay so just use the link to order your first hello fresh box and come back to let me know what you think okay i highly recommend hello fresh and thank you hello fresh for sponsoring today's video so as the hospital did further investigations they realized that ness davis was he was on duty or let me say he was present during all those instances or all those situations right but some might say that this is just an unfortunate coincidence but wait till you hear what exactly happened next so security footage captured nurse davis in the patient room just before the sudden complications began the second victim had complications testified security camera video shows davis enter the victim's room just three minutes later the patient's heart alarm went off alerting nearby nurses stone said davis never told anyone he went inside the room and did not try and assist them so as it turns out apparently nurse davis was injecting air into the iv lines of these patients hmm. And this was causing several neurological complications. So because of this, obviously, Ness Davies was fired from his job. And about a month later, he was arrested. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously, Ness Davies pled not guilty to the charges. His defense attorney said that the hospital was just using him as a scapegoat because unfortunately, he was present during those times. According to the prosecutors, there were about 11 victims of which six died. But Ness Davies was being charged with the death of only four of these six because apparently they said it was difficult to prove the rest. They were unable to prove the rest, so he was only charged with the death of these four. He was charged with mass murder and in the state of Texas, they have the death penalty. So the prosecutors pushed for the death penalty. Then they played a recording of a call Ness Davies played to his ex-wife when he was initially arrested. And to me, you know, with this whole thing, this was the only point I said okay 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 he must have been guilty after all so in the call his ex-wife was basically just asking him tell me are you guilty of all this you know like tell me what's happening like what what, what did you really do it and then he sort of like confessed to the ex-wife and, and this was played in a courtroom he said that well and um, he just wanted to lengthen the time that the patient spent in the ICU just so that you need to do overtime and then he'll get more money okay so although he didn't actually mention that he injected the IV line with air he sort of like said he did something bad to them to lengthen their stay in the ICU so that they will need nurses to work overtime if they are patient they will need to do overtime so that he will make more money and that was recorded that was played in a courtroom <sighs> so after about two hours of jury deliberation Ness davis was sentenced to death Just one week after a jury convicts a former nurse of capital murder today william davis sentenced to death after he was found guilty for killing four of his patients on purpose by injecting air into their arteries yeah, okay. one week after a jury convicted a former nurse of capital murder today William Davis was sentenced to death. KDK. This sentence was appealed right away. A colleague nurse working with Ness Davis in the same hospital said no. This nurse says he thinks that Ness Davis is just a sick guy who just wanted to kill because according to this colleague nurse, he says there's always overtime. So you don't have to try to hurt somebody to get overtime. There's always overtime. So he doesn't understand why he's saying he needed to do that so that he could get overtime to get more money. So what do you think? Do you think that he's just a sick guy who wanted to kill? or do you think that unfortunately he just happened to be there coincidentally anytime those things happened and do you think he deserves the death penalty or you think life imprisonment would have been okay what do you think but this is the sad story of nurse william george davis